We decided to upgrade the overflow from one of our sets of rain barrels. Before it just ran through the yard down into the garden, now it's going to run through a pipe directly into weeping tile installed into the trails of the garden. This video is the end product of that whole upgrade. There'll be a second follow-up video that will show all of the steps that we did along the way. So here's the finished project. So now the water falls out of the sky, runs down the roof, in the eaves. Excuse the shaky camera work here. In the eave, down into this barrel. Fills up all three of these barrels. This is just a hose, just for clarity. That's a hose we use for filling, uh, for watering the garden. Okay, so the water comes down off the roof, fills up all three of these barrels, and then the same barrel that the water comes into is the one where the overflow is. I think that's best practice. Le least chance of overflowing. So then once it gets to that level, then it gets there. Now we put in a flexible coupler. This is like a rubber coupler that we can cinch these up to uh, make the seal. Uh, and the reason for that is that it, then in the fall we can easily detach this and then flip the rain barrel upside down when it's time for winter and uh, we don't want any water sitting in there splitting the barrel. So you'll notice that this pipe has the red stripe on it. That's the type of pipe you want to get is with the red stripe because it has more ability to withstand pressure inside of it which means it's less likely to burst if some water is left in there and it freezes over the winter. It's more expensive than the pipe with the white stripe on it, but the red stripe is totally worth it. So then the water continues downhill, downhill, downhill. We'll go here in a second. Past the uh, sour cherry tree, past the greens bed here in the part shade, and then over back behind the woodshed. Okay. Coming down, coming down. All the way here now, past the woodshed. Good thing I'm skinny. Heading downhill, heading downhill. Until we get here to go underneath the garden shed, where we've now met the overflow from these three barrels, which are draining, as mentioned previously, the neighbor's shed, the wood shed, and the garden shed. So those come in, fill up these three barrels, right? And then there's another hose going out for watering the garden. There's just some stuff laying there because we're moving everything around to install this. But once those barrels are full, then it comes out of this overflow, again with the detachable coupler, comes down, down, down. Now we've got our Y joint here and then this heads out. So now we go all the way underneath the garden shed. Until we get to here. And now we're into our trenches with the garden. And the uh, solid pipe ends inside of the weeping tile there. The weeping tile has the holes to allow the water to percolate out, the weeping tile will keep the other pipe from getting plugged and help to disperse the water throughout the garden a little bit. And then all of these raised beds can suck up that water as they would like. How awesome is that? So basically we have to pull all this stuff out from behind the woodshed and the garden shed and that is why the yard is an utter mess as it seems it always is. Now it's time to put everything back where it was this morning!
So here's the trail restored. And you would never know. Who would have thunk it? Who would have thought this is one giant self-watering wicking bed?